home and the crowd loves to fight on when supporting the USC Trojans. Utah State lined up, ready to deliver the opening kickoff. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the USC Trojans offense takes the field. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man, the man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from this young fellow. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. For all of the star quality that USC has been built on, good offensive line, strong running game has always been a hallmark. No doubt about it. I, I think they're built on, you know, the passing game and explosive playmakers out wide, but they've always had that balance at USC. You've got to have a little bit of the boring to go with the blitz and the glare. And the Trojans have it with a first and ten. The run from the shotgun. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll give it to the back. He picks up four. That'll leave them with third and six. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Snagged in the middle. It's Copeland. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Now inside the 20, first and 10 from the 18. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Plows ahead for a pickup of four down to the 14. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Right back to him on the ground. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He'll be stopped short. Picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. They'll lead the offense out there to try to get it past the marker and pick up the first. Here we go with the run on fourth down. They make the stop at the five-yard line, but they've got it first and goal. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. They'll go to the air. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. They'll try to dial up a better one this time on second and goal from the five. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Snagged in the end zone! Touchdown, Southern Cal! And how about the job by this offense? This is not a scrub defense. This is a top 10 defense in college football. You gotta take points whenever you can get a nice drop, get a drive together, putting six on the board. No matter how it looks, you just gotta keep fighting with this squad. And he's gonna bring it out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Aggies offense has the ball for the first time. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. The Aggies will move the sticks with the first down. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. From the gun, the ground game. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. And the Aggies headed quickly to the line. Trying play action. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Throws into double coverage and it's picked off. 
He was trying to get that return going instead. He'll hand it to his offense at the 38. First play of the drive comes from the 38. From the gun, the running back has it. Turns it on in midfield. Smashes through the tackle. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Running back searching for a hole. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Fires into traffic. Intercepted. Got some room to run. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. On first down, here comes this offense. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job on the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got his man. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. Utah State comes to the line with a first and 10. Defense just has to do a better job in coverage, guys. They did a great job taking away the quarterback's initial primary target. But then they left that guy completely wide open. Somebody busted on the back end. This Utah State offense has it going. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games because of his... Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch on the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. He'll do it himself. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Utah State. The AT unit on the field. And I tell you what, Reese, I'm not picking a team unless I got a guy that can do something like this in the quarterback spot. I need an athlete. I need a little bit of mobility. Just dictates too much to the defense. QB runs in for six. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Keeps looking downfield. Really good pickup on second down there. Leaves him with third and two. Trying to pick up a first down. To the ground to try to move the chains. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience and bounce that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. The Trojans pick up the first down. That time they were in their own territory. That took some uh, lower intestinal fortitude. It did. And, and listen, if that's what you're going to be, that's who you're going to be. If you're going to be that kind of offense and be aggressive, then stick with who you are. And apparently, nowadays, going for it on your own end, it really ain't nothing anymore. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Finds his man. It's Hart. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll leave it with him. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Now the play fake. Swings it out to his running back. 
Each brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking left. It's caught downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Hold down after a pickup of five. A statement run in the red zone to the 13. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Keep the foot on the pedal if you're on offense here. You got that yardage. Yeah, you didn't get the first down, but you set yourself up now to go for it here and keep this drive. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. This should be the last play of the quarter. On the ground, it's hot. They get him on the ground, and with that, we'll head to the second quarter. Both teams made no secret. They wanted to target their big play receivers, and they've done just that in the first. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They open the lane, and he hit it again of five out to the 33. Utah State up tempo. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He's got great speed. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Leaves it with the back. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Right back to the well. Can't get him to the ground. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Trojans are marching down the field. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical, they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense, and they're churning out positive yardage early. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. This will be the seventh play of the drive, and they need to convert third and six. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. The Trojans have it in scoring position on first and goal. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time to hand it off and pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. As they come to the line on third down, already two for two on this. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Trojans! They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 
Utah State, seven. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Utah State has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. Though. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Setting up the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some range for their running back. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Utah State up tempo. The give to the back. Tackle is made after the first down. Here comes the hurry up. They'll throw it on first down. Got his man quickly. And he earns a first down, and boy, did he earn it after taking that lick. The Aggies will snap it on first and ten. Fast motion from the offense. They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They get him down, but he does pick up three to the 32-yard line. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Feeling some heat. Quarterback can't pull the trigger and down he goes at the 41. Utah State will be forced to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. If you like old-fashioned, grinded up, run over a football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Copeland. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They'll try to get the first through the air. He's got his man. No, oh, he got loose. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. And the Trojans are rolling down the field. Off play action on first down. Quick strike complete. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Leaves it with the running back. Tackled, but he has a first down. And the legendary John McKay would be proud of the execution of the running game and picking up the first down. The basic principles of the run game, right? The easy stuff, the boring stuff, not fancy, not, uh, not loved. Everybody likes points and all that other you know, stuff that goes with it. But you got to get the good running game. USC doing a good job of it. He's got his man across the middle. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Stop when you've heard this before. First down. First down. First down. Just continuing to put first downs together. So far, this defense just can't find any answers. Works his way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. 
And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. He caught it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Trojans. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. That is a decision he will likely regret. He brings it out of the end zone, and he's knocked down at the 10. Utah State sending its offense back onto the field. He's looking to throw it. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this trip. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? Uh, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so he puts a lot of pressure on this offense. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Aggies come to the line in the hurry up. On third down, he drops the throw. Slings it downfield. He's got an open man. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. The Aggies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Makes a connection. Makes a grab and a nice gain. Gets it to the 35. They'll try to snap it quickly. They're going to throw it again. The short hands. It's Hodges. And he gets the first down, but man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. Looking to move it through the air. Snags it! They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. The play action fake. Steps to his left, out of the pocket. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Utah State. Utah State. And that's a nice drive, a nice physicality, punching it in with the run game. And here's the thing. I like where this offense is going. Nice job creating some momentum, going into the half, cutting down the lead. This thing could get really exciting. Nice job answering the bell right before the half. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Unloads to the right. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. This offense has a second down play. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Gets it out fast. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football. They play a wide receiver basically for you. But you got to find a guy that you can throw it to. And you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Throws to the wide out. Complete to the right. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. Incomplete, and man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to him. Still on his... And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. 
just enough time to get off one more snap. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how...